Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you and we've got some good stuff and I'm going to talk about a giveaway that I have, ouch, coming up. What was my knee? That I have coming up. Um, I'm pulling stuff over. I, the giveaway is not today but I have some items for it today and what I will do is continue to collect items for it and then I will put up a video for the specific giveaway. Okay, so ugh, it's a rainy, yucky day here, but I thought I would show you what I got. So first off, I picked up 12 of these. Um, they're just the gray locker totes. My niece's friend, Kristen, is a preschool teacher and she needed these for her classroom. And she asked me if I saw them, if I could pick her up some. So I got those for her. Uh, I think she'll be picking those up next week. No, no rush. This is not a big haul and this is in no particular order. Um, but they did come back out with these three packs of the Sure and Fresh that have the, the lids that nest together. So you get three of them. These hold two and a half cups, four and three quarter cup or 4.3 cups and 7.5 cups. I like the square. So I got them in blue and the tealy color. Um, I won't open these right now. I'm still working on this one and they don't last forever. So I figure when those wear out, I'll just toss them or come the holidays when I do a lot of pre-cooking or even in the summer, this is great for like storing food, even in the freezer. I have not had an issue. Um, I saw them exactly one time at exactly one store, just as a heads up. And then other boring storage. I just grabbed one of these shoe boxes. I'm taking off the label. My cousin, Riley Quinn, is starting college and I typically get them like back to school supplies. So I figure what we'll do is send his school supplies in this and then he can just like slide it under his bed in a closet in a drawer and then he can keep all of his pens and pencils organized. I have one more thing for that will go in here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking on my part. I mean these are not bad. They're not the best of quality but it's enough just so he doesn't maybe lose track of all of his supplies. That is just a thought. Okay now some of the fun stuff. For my Sarah, my, Sarah's my niece, just in case anybody needed to know, um, I get a lot of questions, who's Sarah? She's a vegetarian, and when I see these Loma Linda, Loma Linda, Loma Linda brand vegetarian, these are actually vegan, I get them for her to try. And this is good until June of 2022, so it's got a great shelf life. I like the bottom, I can see what's in here. But this is Hawaiian bowl with pineapple and brown rice. Um, she can cook it up with some like fake chicken and make herself a little Asian dish. So I'll have to give that to her when she comes next time. I've been finding periodically, and I know these are more than a dollar in the store for sure. And then the only other food item I picked up, and these are for me for when I ride my bike. I will just pack like two rings because two rings will have like 15 carbohydrates and that should be enough but these are peach rings with tahini on them now as a diabetic i don't typically eat sugar and i get this question fairly regularly however so this is definitely not something i eat just to have as a snack only when I'm riding my bike or at the gym or doing some kind of exercise that's more than an hour, hour and a half long. So typically when I go out on a bike ride, I'm riding for two hours, two and a half hours. I need fuel and this is quick fuel for me and mostly in case I start feeling weak, I always try to keep something like this with me. But typically what I would do is ride Let's say I'm doing a 22 mile bike ride and I ride 11 miles out and I stop. I may have a beef stick for protein and a piece of cheese and then two of these. And that combination seems to work to get me back without kind of hitting that wall. So I try to keep 
something like this on hand. So what I'll do is when I open it, I'll package them up like two rings in a zip bag and my little snack size zip bags. And then I'll grab one as I'm, you know, headed out the door in my pack. I should show you what I pack when I go on a bike ride. Maybe that'll be my next Pelotonia video is getting ready in the morning and all the things I take before I go for a ride. Although it won't be soon because it's going to rain for the next like seven days or there's a chance of rain. And on chance of rain days, I don't typically go out on my bike um, just because nobody wants to get out like 11 miles on a ride and then get stuck in a rainstorm. Not fun. So I'll go to the gym this week and I don't need snacks like that for when I go to the gym. Okay. I found this little game of horseshoes. This is for my brother. We have a family little joke where he announced at one point that he didn't play horseshoes. He was more, I mean, he didn't play cornhole. He was more of a horseshoe kind of guy. And my niece and I are like, you have never played horseshoes in your life. But it comes with a base, the little pole for the middle and even some sand and you fill it up and then you on your desk toss your horseshoes. So this is just a joke gift for my brother. Some point I will give it to him, maybe at Christmas time, who knows, but he's a horseshoe guy, who knew? I mean, after 50 years of living with, growing up with him, I didn't know he was a horseshoe guy. He's full of something is what he's full of horse something. <laughs> um, they also have this new shape of the spray bottle in this color, which is like this bluey gray, which I love. This <laughs> is for these rotten cats that live in my house and have been trying to scratch my new furniture. So we're getting the water bottle out and a couple zaps with some water and they will stop. They're not doing it terribly, but I've caught each of them one time getting ready to like stretch. And I was like, no. So I figure I'll just have a bottle ready. And then when I don't need it anymore, I can use it to mist my plants. I mean, they will learn. They're not, and like I said, they're not terrible about it, but I don't want them getting started, if that makes sense, so. But I love the shape, too. It has a little knobs on it. It's cute. Definitely something different that I've not seen at the Dollar Tree before. I picked up a two-pack of these magnetic hooks. How strong they are, I don't really know. Um, they feel pretty heavy-duty. I'm not using them for anything too, you know, heavy. I'm planning when we go back to the office, I think we're going back intermittently, like two, two days a week or something. And we have lockers and I thought I would put these in my locker to hang things on. Um, because my plan, if we're only going to be in the office twice a week, then nobody will have an assigned desk. Hopefully we'll have our assigned area and that's near my locker. So I put all my stuff in my locker and then I can use this to hang like a key or whatever on and then it stays locked up. And I thought this would be handy to have, you know, or if you have a kid going back to school, oh, I should grab some of these for my college kid. Although I think they're getting him command hooks, but this won't hurt to have a little magnetic hook. If they have a metal door, this would be great to put, um, to hang their keys on and stuff. I have a hook next to my front door, but my front door also is metal. So if I did it, I could hang this on the back of it to hang my keys. Just a thought. Um, I got a new water bottle. This honestly is just to take to the gym when I go. Um, for my bike riding, I have squeezy bottles, but I don't, I don't want to take those to the gym. This, it just has a nice pour spout. I just take plain water, but I didn't, I threw away a lot of my water bottles and I needed one that has a lid that will slide into that cup holder on the elliptical or the treadmill and then I can just free pour the water. I don't care for my bicycle bottles unless I need them to, I need those to ride my bike. You don't really want to try to ride your bike with one of these. Just clock myself in the head there guys, I'm just saying. So I grabbed one of these clear bottles for that or this is a teal I think they had it in like a dark gray a dark dark blue I'm not sure what else so I got that then uh, oh I have one more food item 
I'm, I'm going to try this. Sugar-free vanilla syrup. Um, high standards it's, the, it's by. I don't normally drink a lot of this type of a coffee flavor, but there's a pink drink that's like a dupe of Starbucks and it's hibiscus tea, a little bit of this vanilla sugar-free and a little coffee creamer and it makes a really fun drink and I didn't have any vanilla, but I do have hibiscus tea. So I thought I would just try it. I won't use a lot, but they had this flavor and a salted caramel maybe. Maybe. Um, it doesn't have great sweeteners in it. It's suculo sucralose which is um, Splenda. So I grabbed that. That was that should be the last food item. Um, my last kitchen item is this little lemon tea bag holder or some sort. I probably will stick it on a shelf. My kitchen is black, white, and yellow, and I love lemons for the summertime. And I thought that was totally adorable. It's just a little trinket tray. They had other fruit like watermelon, maybe a lime or an orange, questionable. Um, but I liked the lemon and when I make hot tea, it's great for like a little tea bag to sit it on. So I got that for the kitchen. I picked up some dog treats for Luna. Now remember Luna, Luna is Sarah's dog. I do babe, babysit her, dog sit her often. And these are mid they're mini chicken dipped rice sticks and these are made in America. They are not raw hide. Um, they're just little, little meat sticks. It feels kind of hard, so I'm not sure what she'll do with it. But I grabbed two of those. You get four little sticks. And it, the company is Boone Treats with No Boundaries Mini Chicken Rice Sticks. Made with real chicken. So I grabbed her two of those. And then they had Baxter Boy all natural high protein premium grade pork jerky little pork jerky sticks and i grabbed her two bags of those i have a um <laughs> so fun little fact the cats have a treat jar i'm gonna point but it's over there and wellington loves his treats so i'm always dipping in there and dropping treats on the floor for the cats but she gets jealous and so i got her a treat jar too and I just put a bunch of these different kind of chewy treats in there and I'll give her some on occasion. So I'll open these up and put one of these in and put probably one of those in and it keeps it fresh. And then the rest will go with the cat food that I keep and then when she, cause uh, coming up here soon, I will have her for a long weekend. Sarah's going off with her friends, and so she'll drop her off like on a Thursday and pick her up on a Monday or something. I don't know. It's on my calendar. I found this mega liquid cat suit again with from Wet n Wild. This is a purple color. I love this stuff. It dries matte and it stays. And this is fairy tale ending is the color, and it's like a purple. Um, I can. I can swatch it. Let's swatch it. I have lipstick on, so I'm not going to put this on. But oh, the boys, they love the chair, the new furniture. They're on it right now, both of them. Um, and this is, it says new, but I don't, I don't know how new it is. But I love that it has like a little metallic sheen to it. Oh, it's like a purple and gold. Let's see if you can see it. Do you see that? It has like a gold to it, but then there's a purple undertone. Oh, it has like a glitter to it. No stink smell. Um, I don't know if this dries like the other stuff. Shimmer, oh, it's eyeshadow. <laughs> I thought it was lipstick. I have, I was like, why does the bottle look different? This is shimmer liquid eyeshadow. Oh, that's awesome. And I love that it leaves a little shimmer behind. That's fun. 
I'll have fun playing with that. Just using it as like a highlight on my top eye. That is hysterical because I truly thought that was lipstick. Mm, it does have a little bit of a scent. A little bit, nothing bad. Um, I found these new utility boxes and they are a, it's from the Beatery Craft Products and these little thingies come out. So I guess that they're made for beads, but I'm gonna use them for my crafting, like maybe um, knitting, stitch markers, crochet stitch markers, stuff for my cross stitch, little notions. These are nifty. And they have like a little hook at the bottom to clip. And you get four dividers, but like I, or three dividers, but they come out and you get four little sections. And I'm assuming that people use these for beading. The Beatery Craft Product, exclusive Emporium mini utility box, one to four adjustable compartments. Now, you know my obsession with labels, guys. Ooh. Now oh, there's one on the back. Don't, don't fail me now, customer service. They did not. One little tiny piece stuck and I got it off. Okay, I'm happy. I should have grabbed more. Um, yeah, these are, okay, no, I don't need more. But these are neat. I think this would be a perfect to throw with my, you know, sewing needles would even fit in there. A little floss, some buttons. I can make a little sewing kit. Perfect. I love that. That'll go upstairs with the crafty goodness. Um, speaking of crafty goodness, I did pick up some floral. This is not going far until it gets sprayed down. Holy macaroni. Look at that. This is some glittered fern pieces. I'm going to use them on my wreath that I'm making for fall, but they need to be sprayed. So I'll clip them and spray them with either hairspray or like a clear clear coat and then they had these that look like feathers in an orange and a coppery color they're very pretty but I'm gonna tell you here and now these are an absolute glitter bomb if you are not a fan of the glitter pass them up or I'm leaving them in this bag and oh my gosh I'm covered in glitter um I will clip them lay them out on a tarp and seal them because nobody needs that mess in their life and then they had and i only saw a couple of these but i'm hoping they have better selection of the brighter colors they're just called fall grass oh look at that purple that is so pretty and then i got two in this yellow um because i think that again i clipped these off and i think they would just look pretty laying on my mantle this fall or something I enjoy them immensely. They're a little different. If you can see down here how they're on, on here. I don't know that they would be good. I guess I could pluck them off of this brown and then cut them if I wanted to glue them separately. But as a bundle, they just look like, I don't know, wildflowers to me. But these are the, in their fall selection and they're out. Floral Garden Fall Grass. And they have the fall tags, so Get these flowers while you can because I've seen a couple of my stores that were fully stocked with fall, fall, fall flowers, fall flowers, gone. Rude, I know. Um, well, okay, let me put these back in this bag so I don't lose them. So I think I have enough fall flowers to do my bouquet or to do my wreath. And then, oh, actually these may go on that wall up over my chair when I redecorate. Um, I found name brand. These are paper mate five pack 0.7 mechanical pencils. Uh, my, my man that's going to college, I grabbed two for him because I think, you know, most of their stuff I know is done on the computer, but Matt, if he has to take any math classes or anything like that, he may need some pencils and for a couple bucks, it's totally worth it to send them off with some mechanical pencils. He doesn't need them, he doesn't need them. It's not a big deal, but I like to have them for him because I like them. 
And then to go in with that, I just picked up one of these uh, navy blue pencil boxes. I figure what I will do is load up the pens and pencils in these and then put the whole thing in here. Um, and then I will pick up for him some note cards, stuff like that, command hooks, and just fill this little goodie box for him to have stuff for his dorm. I'll probably get some of these magnets to throw in there in case he has anything magnetic. I'll get some, some command hooks, things like that, for him to take off to school. And then his cousin, she, his sister will start high school next year, so that'll be fun. Um, I found these, I don't even know, Core Pacific. Um, they're a disposable edge painter, and I thought those would be great for painting projects. You just, I don't know if I can get it out of here without breaking it. Yeah, it has this little foamy, furry stuff, and you just dip that in paint, and you rub it along the edge to get a clean edge. Um, but I also feel like if I make any signs that this would be good to paint, just paint the whole surface at one time. And it's very disposable. So that'll be great. I'll put that outside with my hardware stuff. And um, when it comes time to do a project. Tonight I'm gonna be working on a wall hanging for behind me, right here is where it's gonna go. And I got the materials to make it at five below at my hardware store and then some yarn that I dyed myself. I don't go over how to dye the yarn because it is dangerous and you need very specific materials, but I'll show you how I make it. Oh, I have a DIY coming up with that, hopefully this week or by the weekend. I'm hoping for tomorrow, but it might be Thursday. We'll see how quickly I can move. Um, so we're gonna come up to, I found some lemon fabric, guys. I grabbed two pieces of the lemon. You know, I'm obsessed. It's so summery. I need to make some bags. So this makes me happy. Um, yeah, I just liked it. It'll, two pieces is perfect for any project that I would like to do. I have plenty that I haven't used yet. And then I grabbed this basket out. It's out in the new stuff. Um, it's a little soft, you know, it's not real sturdy, but I'm putting in here snacks for myself. Uh, my cheese wisp, stuff that comes in a bag, I can put in here and just slide on a shelf and then I will have easy, be able to see easily what is in here because I have lots of snacky stuff. Um, not necessarily my cycling snacks, although I could put those in here. I need to clean out my pantry and then I'll make that determination, but most likely this will go on a shelf somewhere and it will hold um, bag snacks for me. So if you eat popcorn or anything of that nature, then that's the type of stuff that I think would be good in there. Okay, now this is all gonna be part of the giveaway. Most of it is. I have to sort though because giveaway, and giveaway. Okay, so I grabbed these stickers for Sarah and I. Her theme in her classroom this year is rainbows. And we love our hanging plants. So it's like good vibes and then there's hanging plants and it says you grow girl, be bold, you've got this. These are fun planner stickers. So I got that one card for each of us of that. And then I got one of these for her for her classroom and it's virtual hug stay positive positive thoughts i believe in you i think these are great teacher stickers even though her kids are in high school they love a sticker so i grabbed that for her for back to school and she gets one of these for back to school now i have for the giveaway Stickers. I grabbed a sheet of the coffee stickers to go in the giveaway and there will be two. I'm giving away two sets. So I have two sets of coffee stickers and two sets of this. Also, these you did good. I believe in you. These positive stickers. So that's a set. 
for each person that wins. Then I grabbed three of these. Two of them will be for um, the giveaway. So this one here says busy, busy, busy. And this one says get stuff done. And this one says today is the day. So I'll show you what these are because I didn't get to look at them, but they say daily planner. So get up in the morning, and even if you're not a planner person, they're like a, a great to-do list. Oh, this is great. So you have this sheet and it's for each day. So you have a to-do, what are your goals, your fitness, are you giving enough water? Today was awesome, productive, tomorrow will be better. And you get, I would say 60 sheets if I had to guess. And I think they all have a little bit of a different theme to it. Oh, isn't that great? So they're just little daily. I don't wanna open the other two because they're part of the giveaway, but they're just little daily planners. So if you don't keep a month long or a year planner, but you've got a daily to-do list that you can put on your desk. So I thought that was fantastic. This one here, it looks like it's dated or you put the date in it. I'm not sure. I don't know. Now, this is where the excitement begins, guys. I found two more of these, the Christmas or the seasons, the seasonal, um, sticker book. So I grabbed two for the giveaway, one for each person that wins. I have not found the watercolor one, but this is the seasons, which I love these. Um, I actually found three and I got an extra one because I love seasonal stickers when I'm doing my planner. So I'll use some for this year and then I'll have some for next year. And I love these. They cover every like season holiday. Even if you don't celebrate holidays, they have like winter themes, fall themed, all that. So I think these are fantastic. So this so far is going to be like our back to school supply giveaway. So far. I got to take my thumbnail. And then we're going to get other stuff. Like I'm sure I will find pens and highlighters and all the things. Because even though we may not be actually going back to school, we need stuff too. We need excitement for the back to school season. And I love back to school shopping and I love finding great deals. So I'm going to put all these together in a basket for now, in the blue basket till I clean my pantry. And as I find stuff at the store or on sale or on clearance or whatever, and I do a lot of like go to Staples and get ready for next year. But when I find new stuff, I'll get two of them for the basket. And then uh, probably in August. So if we go through all of July and August, I'll do the giveaway. How about that? Uh, but I will make it its own video. So you don't have to worry if you're going to miss it by, you know, watching to the end. I'll let you know when it's coming, but I will be having these, um, supplies to show you as they come along. All right, guys, that is everything. I need to get to work on my wall hanging and I will talk to you later.